from rattling skulls, rattle these bones. There you are. Are we ready to march? Let's go. It's time to capture a kingdom. What are we going to do about him? Jailbird. Something wrong. I know these men, Eivor. I've supped with them. Not two weeks ago, Leofrith showed me how to wield a greatsword. He's a friend. Friendship's end, often at the point of a spear. It cannot be that cold. Least of all with Leofrith. He is only following orders. When the march begins, find an empty tent and stay there. Do not think me a coward. I am not afraid of war. I do not want to kill my friends. There's no other way. Fight or hide. It's up to you. Soldiers need the king to lead.
must destroy that barricade!
It's over, Burkred. Lay down your weapons and surrender. Take three men and search the rear. Look around. See what you can find. I'll send for Chael Wolf. Tell him we found a throne. Ah, that was a good scuffle, hmm? But I did notice we were short one out of it. Where was... I found a letter. There's a symbol here. Your men have any luck? Nothing. You? This. Do you know that symbol? Tona Sigil. It seems she's been dealing with Burgred as well. The wretch. She was the mercenary barking at you in Repton, yes? She's playing both sides of this war. She could have told him anything. Sold him secrets about me, about Repton. Our plans. Why bother with all this pageantry? Fashion a new crown and stick it on your melon. There you have it. You're the new king. That is not how it works. Not in Mercia. You were one of Burgred's stains. He must have some sense of where he'd be. Burgred had his secret haunts, but he never told me of them. Kept me quite in the dark. For good reason, I suppose. Tana is our only lead. We talk to her. Find out what she knows. I would sooner launch my face into my axe than face her. That might improve her impression of you. We have the same father, Eivor, but his mother was a sow. Meet us at Tona's camp when you're finished here, and bring your patience. And your axe! Eivor, a word, if you would. Go, I'll catch up. I will join the brothers, Eivor. Meet us at Tona's. My son told me what happened earlier, with Ivar pressuring him to fight. He said you intervened. You would be mourning your son if I hadn't. <laughs> He's not a fighter. No, but he should be. By trial or by training. He'll come around in time. Keep him from Ivar if you can. He's the furthest thing from a mentor.
Just keep it. <laughs>
survey the area sooner.
Just keep your wits about you. Calm, Ivar. Me and Aver will take care of this. Sigurd, is there a problem? We'll go see Tomna. Just the two of us. Ivar and Oba will wait here. Better if Tomna thinks we've come alone. The truth is, I don't think any of us can stop Ivar from cleaving her head open. It's all he was spewing the whole way over here. Right. Shall we? We'll return shortly. A small fortune for whoever sent Tona to hell. I'll hold you to that. From what I overheard in Repton, the brothers had an arrangement with Tuna. What happened? She's a mercenary. Uba used her for man and information. But that relationship soured now that Burgret is all but defeated. From what I heard, Tuna has hunger for two things. Soft silver and a stern hump. Neither of which earns you true loyalty. If she can't be trusted, what use is she? That is for us to find out. We may be able to satisfy her. And if we can't? Ivar did tell you to bring your axe. And here they are, as expected. If she takes a knife from you, keep talking. She's more your type, I think. No, no. This is your type. Sigurd, what brings you strolling into my camp this brisk day? I suspect you already know. Yes. The embers on the air betray you. And yet, if you are here talking to me, King Burgeret remains at large. And who are you, lovely dove? Want to perch your ass on my lap? Not interested. And why not? I've been told I have a rather expert tongue. Only good for yawping, I see. <laughs> Enough blabbering. You know why we're here. Where is King Burgret? That is what you want. And what makes you think I have the slightest idea? We found letters. Records of trade. The two of you have a history. What can I say? The king pays well for my services. If only I could say the same for those two Ragnarsson clods. You're dealing with me now. And I want to know what you know. Name your price. Very well. I could use another cow. And you can cover the cost. Here's your silver. Mm, ripe as a plum, aren't you? So eager. Out with it. Burgred paid me to steer the Ragnarsons clear of two areas, Ledechestre and Templebrochfort. It was a hefty amount. If I were you, that's where I'd look. And that is all I know. Not more, not less. We are done here. Ledechestre and Templebrochfort. Do you know these places? I don't, but the brothers will. I'll bring this news to them. Don't stay around here too long. We've got a king to catch. Sigurds told us the news. Well done. Letterchester and Templebroth fought. What do you know about them? Hmm. Letterchester is a large village. And Templebroch, it's an old military fort. Not much else. 
Burkhardt could be at either one. We should check both, as soon as possible. And what do we do with Tona? I would bet the sweat off my sack she's writing to Borgred now, offering silver for a warning about us. Let me worry about that. We should get moving, Drinkit. I can take the fortress of Templebrook. I will join you, Sigurd. That leaves me Leatherchester, then. All by my fucking lonesome. Bring a friend, brother. Maybe Eivor dares to be called that. Go on ahead. I'll catch up with all of you soon. Ravens. We need an epic tale. You might not be aware, but I am a man with considerable shipbuilding craft. In my youth, just 13 winters old, I designed a... Some years ago, I took to sea with a sword dancer called Aeid. A brooding warrior with a face of stone and old card arms. Let the sail Riding corn. We shored off along the edge of a forest and explored until we came to people parts. A large farm. It was night and all were asleep. So we set about plundering the place in the quiet of eve, taking sheep and goats as we pleased. It was then that Eil saw a farmhand and pressed the boy for the family's hidden silver. The farmhand squawked like a crow. Being hid beneath an anvil at the Smith Forge, the silver was no trouble to lift. In secret, we took it and the boy back to the ship. It was then that Ail grew sad. For when the farmers woke with the crack of day, they would know they had been robbed, not by whom. So Ail ordered three of us to follow him back to the sleep hushed hamlet. As we burned the houses, Ail shouted his name I am Ail, oh, son Ail. of Skatlagrim, and I am the man who deprives you of everything but your Ail life. Down. I never sailed with Ail again. Ail. 
There are seas called them. Pass! Not long before leaving for England, I made a solitary trek into the mountains east of Thornburg. I was looking for egg or deer or other game to bring home. My luck was poor, and I could find nothing worth my arrows. Can't raise the sail yet. I saw a round mountain ahead of me, with a strange narrow slit in the earth running left to right. There appeared to be fresh water in this crevasse, which was strange, for it was on its side. As I approached, the ground rumbled and the crevasse shuddered. Then it opened, as wide as a lake, and ringed with color. Stepping back to take this in wind the view, would the I realized with a shock what I was seeing. The eye of Jormungandr. The world serpent. Yes, he sleeps near old Thornburg, blessing us with his dreams. Oh, if we could return there now, I would show you the place. One day, maybe. One day, I will show you the place. We can continue later. All right, back to the story. One day, maybe. Hold on, good scout. Aguilar! Aim is ready when needed. To battle! See you, old friend.
Let's have a song. Who will share a tale? Here's a tale to tickle your Control side. yourself. The winter before, I was drinking in Stavania with some companions. With us in the mead hall were men of five yards. One of which was a poet named Halley. Called here. sarcastic Halley by most. 
Seven ale horns into his night. Holly stood upon his table. Take the called down. across the room to another man. A skald named Chudol. Chudol! He yelled. I can compose a more beautiful poem with my belching than you could with your tongue and fine words. The room laughed. Chudol loudest of all. I accept your challenge, sarcastic Holly. He shouted. Allow me to begin. Chudolf then spoke this verse. Sad Holly drowns in horns of hubris, squeaking like a stoat, yet proudly the pup calls it poetry. The room laughed again, with Holly joining in. Then Holly tripped across the room and opened his mouth to speak his verse. From his throat erupted a jet of vomit into Chudolf's face. His only composition that night, of which is he most like proud. <laughs> Look, soldiers dug in over there. Better than your tight-lipped man here. Aver, there you are. What's with the prisoners? Man from the fortress, out on patrol. We squeeze them. Burger's not here. It's his queen they're guarding. Others with. They must have separated after Tomworth. It won't be long before someone comes looking for these men. We need to get inside and find Alice with. Capture a queen to find a king. It might work. Only one way to find out. See if you can get anything more out of them. Me and Aver will take care of fetching Alos with. Oh, then guide you. The Saxons won't welcome us through the front door. <clears throat> we could find a quiet room, or we can take a lunch. I can decide you either way. Uh. <clears throat> Shit! Oh, Eva, I have dreamt of this day. Of scouring the Shire in search of a king. Of going a viking good. With you. With our brothers and sisters. Conquering new lands. Forming lasting friendships. And if it takes chasing some weasel across a new land, so be it. I am right where I wish to be. As am I, brother. be tucked in the chaff.
The Viking could weigh that. God's justice awaits, coward!
Some sort of fort there. Yeah. 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 Yeah.